So this is the uh, oh, main job just fell from up there. Came literally centimeters from uh, falling on me. That was luck right there. Oh, still raining. But yeah, this is the uh, aftermath of a tropical storm, Cindy. And wow, look at this. Yeah, this absolutely got destroyed. I mean, it was, it, it did not used to be, um, it wasn't that bad at all to begin with, at all. And as you can see, it leaves everywhere. It's, it was seriously unbelievable. I mean, <clears throat> we uh, got hit with a storm at around 7 o'clock this morning. And one word describes the storm. Ridiculous. Seriously. And we had wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. It seriously was like a hurricane out here. Absolutely ridiculous. Seriously. No, and you probably can imagine. There were crashes all over the, uh, on, there were crashes everywhere this morning. It was ridiculous, like they keep saying. It's unbelievable. Seriously. Oh, this could be bad. We saw plenty of issues during the morning commute, and WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips shows us the damage left behind. As rain pounded the Mid-South, Friday morning, the interstates and streets were like a giant slip and slide. We have several accidents. Memphis Police and TDOT on the scene. The rain began falling around 4 a.m., and within an hour, two vehicles crashed into utility poles. This accident happened on Kimball Avenue at Gidwell Road. The airbags deployed in this red sedan after a woman crashed. However, she later died at the hospital. It's unclear if weather played a role. More than 11,000 homes were without power at one point during the morning. Down power lines like these live wires on Breedlove in North Memphis were a big part of the problem with outages. Flash flooding and ponding also proved to be a challenge for drivers in low-lying areas. We heard it. We were in the house, and we heard it and then immediately looked out the windows. A tree slammed into this home on Winoga Avenue near Highland Street. Thankfully, the family wasn't inside. A neighbor who called for help described what she heard. It wasn't a loud bang or anything. It was just like a crushing wood sound. Now, after several recent storms, days of cleanup continue. Jerrica Phillips, WMC Action is fine. Yeah. And for No words to describe that. I mean, <clears throat> we also, um, to add insult to injury, I guess you could say, also had some pretty intense flooding in the area as well. I mean, there's still a uh, flash flood watch in effect until midnight tonight. It's absolutely ridiculous. Seriously. Anyways, just figured I, uh, so you listen, that's gonna be it for now.